Welcome once again to another video of Pendesty Games. In this video, we're gonna keep playing those. I don't know if you remember watching the last video. We got stuck in this part where we're gonna ask some questions to this old. I don't know what he's supposed to be a lizard, like like a like a frog, something. I don't know. But we're gonna ask some questions about myself because I don't know who the fuck I am. Damn, that was aggressive as fuck. Just the way I like it. Yes. Okay, so um. Uh, now, thus, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. <laughs> okay, uh, well, yes, I'm gonna ask that, I think. Yes, I would like to know that, yeah. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin. He who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all, and while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen. And Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Okay, so, uh, okay, that's, uh, why could I remember anything? Yeah. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world. So we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. Oh. And we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? Oh yeah, Fuse, that was a fire though that I fought against like in the third third episode, I think. I don't know, I don't yeah, I think. I think Who was Fuse? He said he was a moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gotten through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. Yeah, they're right. I mean, if he was, he was already insanely crazy and powerful as fuck. I mean, to me, he was powerful. I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, the sword. How how does Aura fit into all this? Like he just came out of nowhere to just wake me up and everything in the middle of the forest. Right, let me let me find out about this. How does the blade of Aura fit into all this? What is it exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The Blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword-bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure our balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. Well, I guess I have nothing else to ask. I have no more questions. What's the plan now? Yep. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or some place that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? Really? Oh, shit. Oh. I am the soul of, the, of an innocent temper without justice. I am Jin. I am Cassius. I am Dust. I feel like mm, I wish it. I'm gonna just go with the first one. Fuck it. I am. I. Uh. You see, you still haven't figured it out yet. Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know. Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just. Uh, if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following, and why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Now I'm curious, what would have happened if I would have just chose I am dust? Well, what, what kind of reaction she would have she would have got? I don't know. I don't know. If I can find her on the, on the internet, I will I will put it like like at the end of the video or something. So yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let, let, yeah. 
So, so we're going to the volcano area or something like that, I think. Um. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, need to... I am supposed to pick up something, but I don't know exactly what it is. Mm, dust to dust. You discovered it through. Snowflakes. That's fine. Oh, goodbye to the, his father. Mm. Well, how, how, how can I pick up the, the snow and everything? I mean, can I use like... I don't know. There's gotta be an item I can use to pick up everything. Uh, there's gotta be... I mean, there's so much snow. I, can, I would like to use... Oh shit, what the fuck? Can I scare me? Uh, I'm sure I can pick it up, but I, I need to find out how. There's gotta be uh, a spot that I can just, you know. There's gotta be somewhere. No, there's nothing. Fuck it. I guess I won't give him shit. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the extra missions, probably like at the end. Hopefully the game won't end. Like, like you won't tell me like game over or something like that. Um, so, what place is it again? They said. What the? General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. What the fuck? Okay, we got two new places. The Glade, uh... I did 90% right there. There's a lot of things I made, so the only two... No, I have to keep going. Yeah, let's keep going with the storyline. I will do the missions and everything else later. Chapter 5. Legend. Legend, bitch. Legend. Actually does look like the metal dude use. He just he has an armor, I guess that's why. And they have a tail, so that's that's good, I guess. We welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Is this all you have left? Are we safe here? Actually I'm I'm actually curious about that one. Yeah, we Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? Oh, yeah. One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys. How did a moonblood operate so freely in the wildlands? 
He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Geyser soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. Damn. Uh, what is the way of the flameless light? What can I do to help? Is this all you have left? Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. Uh, did he mention something like that? I don't, I don't know if, if he did. Yeah, never... I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in dust. This could take a while. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts. And that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintuk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. Okay, so what can I do to help? I guess that's the last question. Well, I'm yeah. here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm gonna have to end it right here. There was too much talking going on, but uh, at least we know what we have to do. At least we know where we are. And at least we know which... Well, apparently, we're gonna fight against an entire army. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I am kind of excited, you know. So yeah. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for watching. And I will see y'all on the next video. Don't forget to give it panda. Ciao.